Have you ever wondered how Spotify manages to recommend the perfect song for your mood? Or how Uber connects you with a driver in minutes anywhere in the world? Well, these seamless experiences are not just magic, and I'm not talking about AI, they are the results of a powerful approach to infrastructure and applications called platform engineering. Now, in this video, we will dive into what platform engineering is, how it differs from DevOps, and why it's becoming the secret weapon to increase developer productivity in companies. Now, imagine you are a chef in a busy restaurant. In the traditional model, you'd be responsible for everything, sourcing the ingredients, prepping, cooking, and even washing dishes. That's exhausting and inefficient, right? Now, picture a kitchen where you have a team of sous chefs who handle all the prep work and well-stocked pantry that's always filled with the freshest ingredients that you need and a dishwashing system that cleans up automatically, suddenly you can focus on what you do best, which is creating culinary masterpieces. That's exactly what platform engineering does for software engineers, for developers. Let's get a little technical now. So what is platform engineering? Platform engineering is really the art of creating a robust, scalable, and a developer-friendly internal platform that takes care of the complex infrastructure and operational tasks, allowing developers to focus on building great products. Let's break down the key technical components and responsibilities of platform engineering. Infrastructure abstraction is the first one. Our platform engineers create layers of abstraction over raw infrastructure resources like compute, storage, and networking using infrastructure as code. These tools are things like Terraform, CloudFormation, Pulumi. This abstraction then allows application developers to consume those pre-configured compliant infrastructure without needing to understand the underlying details of that infrastructure. Next is containerization and orchestration. Now, a crucial part of platform engineering is implementing containerization technologies like Docker and orchestration platforms such as Kubernetes. Now, platform engineers design and maintain the container ecosystem, including the image registries, the management of those registries and deployment strategies. Now, CI-CD pipeline management is another factor. Now, platform engineers build and maintain the continuous integration and the continuous deployment, which is CI-CD pipelines. This involves setting up tools like Jenkins, GitLab, CI, or GitHub Actions, and creating standardized pipeline templates that development teams can easily adopt and customize. Then comes service mesh and networking. Implementing service mesh solutions like Istio or um, Linkerd falls under the platform engineering domain. Now, this includes uh, managing service direct discovery, load balancing, traffic management, and security at the network level for the microservices architectures. Next, observability and monitoring. Now, platform engineering implements comprehensive observability solutions, interacting uh, with tools that are used for logging, metrics, Prometheus, for example, and distribution or trace, and they create dashboards and alerting systems that provide both platform level and application level insights. Now, security and compliance is another big one. Implementing security best practices at the platform level is a key responsibility. This includes managing secrets, using tools like HashiCorp Vault, implementing role-based access, RBAC controls, and ensuring compliance with industry standards and regulations. 
then comes developer portals and um, service catalogs and interfaces. So a critical output of platform engineering is the creation of developer portals or internal developer platforms. Now these act as a sort of a single pane of glass for developers, providing them a self-service capability for resource provisioning, application deployment, and operational tasks. Now, tools like Backstage, which I'm going to talk a little bit about later, are made by Spotify and open sourced help in this category. API management and service catalogs. Platform engineers often implement API gateways and service catalogs to manage internal and external APIs traffic to them, ensuring proper versioning, documentation, and access controls. Database and storage management could also fall in this category, which includes setting up and managing database clusters or implementing backups and recovery solutions, or providing uh, developers with easy access to various storage options, such as object store, block store, etc. Um, and the next is automation and tooling. Now, platform engineers create custom tools and scripts and automate repetitive tasks, which enforce best practices and improve developer workflows. Now, this might involve developing CLI tools, bots, or plugins for existing systems. Platform engineering serves as the underlying foundation that supports the entire software development lifecycle. It provides the tools, the infrastructure, and the process that development teams rely on from the initial stages of development all the way to production deployments and ongoing operations. Now, in the deployment phase, platform engineering provides developers with standardized deployment environments, the version control systems, and the local testing capabilities that mirror production settings. During the build and test phases, the platform offers CI pipelines that automatically compile code, run tests, and perform static code analysis. In the deployment phase, platform engineering tools can provide CD pipelines that can deploy applications to various environments, including staging and production and UAT, with consistency and reliability. Now, post-deployment, the platform continues to play a crucial role in monitoring, scaling, and maintaining the applications in production. By creating this comprehensive ecosystem, platform engineering really aims to accelerate the software delivery improve the system reliability, and allow development teams to focus more on building features and less on operational concerns. Now that we have a detailed technical understanding of platform engineering, you might be wondering, wait, isn't that what DevOps does? Well, not exactly. Let's break that down a little bit. Now here's some historical context. DevOps emerged earlier, around 2009, as a cultural and operational movement, while platform engineering is more recent evolution in response to scaling challenges in really large applications and organizations. Now, if we talk about scope and focus, DevOps is broader in scope, focusing on cultural changes, breaking down silos between development and operations, and improving the entire software delivery lifecycle. Platform engineering is more specific, concentrating on building internal platforms and tools to support the development teams. While there is significant overlap in the tools and the skills used, platform engineering offers um, and requires deeper expertise in specific areas like internal development platforms, service meshes, and large-scale infrastructure management. When we talk about the team structures, DevOps often advocates for embedding the operation skills within the development teams. Platform engineering, on the other hand, typically involves a dedicated team that serves multiple development teams. 
Now, one way to describe the relationship between DevOps and platform engineering could be that platform engineering is an organizational approach that builds upon DevOps principles and practices, extending them to create standardized, scalable platforms that support multiple different development teams in a large organization. Now, in practice, platform engineering teams often work along, alongside the DevOps teams with platform engineering providing the foundational tools and infrastructure that enables the DevOps practices to be implemented more efficiently across an organization. So while they are closely related and complementary to each other, it's not quite correct to call DevOps a subset of platform engineering or vice versa. Instead, they are really distinct but overlapping approaches to improving software development and delivery with platform engineering often building on the groundwork that was laid by DevOps practices. Now, let's look at a real world example to see platform engineering in action. Spotify the music streaming giant, faced a challenge as it grew with hundreds of development teams and thousands of microservices. Maintaining consistency and efficiency became increasingly difficult. Their solution? They created a development platform called Backstage and open-sourced it, which is now managed by CNCF. Here's how it embodies a platform engineering principles. So Backstage provides a unique interface for all internal tools and services, creating a consistent experience for the developers across the organization. It also provided self-service to developers. They can easily create new microservices, manage the existing ones, and access documentation of all of those services without needing to involve the operations team directly. It also provides visibility and offers a comprehensive view of all the services, their owners and their current status, improving the transparency and the collaboration across development teams. And automation, many route tasks like setting up new projects or developing services and automating them uh, backstage reduced manual work and potential errors in this process. Uh, it also helped with knowledge sharing. The platform includes the built-in documentation and best practices, making it easier for teams to follow the company standards, the best practices, and learn from each other. So by implementing backstage, Spotify dramatically improved developer productivity, reduced the onboarding time, for new engineers and accelerated innovation across the company. This is the power of platform engineering in action. Platform engineering is really revolutionizing how tech companies or really any company operates at scale, while DevOps laid the groundwork for better collaboration between development and operations team, platform engineering takes it to the next level by creating standardized, efficient ecosystem for software development. As we've seen with Spotify's Backstage, the results can be transformative. If you're looking to go deeper into platform engineering, let me know in the comments below and I will dive deep in the next videos. Thank you all for joining me today. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more insights into the world of cloud, tech, and AI. Until next time.